Well hello everybody, Fast 27 here again. I've been out on the J6R, but not at the moment, I'm out on this. It's a Honda CB500F, which I've just picked up from Sutton Motorcycles in Wilnicote, Tamworth. Nice looking little bike. However, a bit of an odd one this. This isn't the bike I requested a test ride on. The bike I was interested on is the CB500, but it's the X model, which is the slightly more adventurous styled one. However, as I said in my previous video, demonstrators are few and far between at the moment. And he sold his CB500X demonstrator only last week. So this is what was available. It's the same engine. So that's why I agreed to bring it out. Not bad, I like the colours, blue and white. LED light in the front. Nice bit of gold detailing on the, or bronze detailing on the engine. It's got a brand new tyre on it, so uh, be a little bit careful. Not bad. Not a bad looking machine. I don't know a lot about them. I just booked the test ride on a whim. So uh, let's go and give it a, a tootle round some local roads and see what we think. Mm. Nice and low. So yeah, nice and easy to get on. Side stands fairly easy to find. Starts nice and easy. It's an inline twin. Nice little burble to the exhaust. LCD dashboard, which I must say, it's not particularly bright today. And it's not that easy to see. is really light, it's got a slipper clutch and the clutch is very light. Ooh, it's got a little burble to the exhaust on the change down. And something I will have to get used to on this test ride is that as with a lot of Hondas I believe, or maybe all Hondas I'm not sure, the indicator and the horn are juxtapositioned compared to other makes of bikes. So I'm just gonna watch I'm not tooting anybody when I want to turn left or right. Like I said, I don't know all the facts and figures, as this is a bit of a a bit of a whim. Uh, so I know it's A2 license friendly. Possibly, I've got the idea that it's possibly like 35 brake horse. Exhaust. It's a standard exhaust. It's got a nice little pop and burble as you uh, go off the throttle and change down. It's not going to uh, break any land speed records. Pick 
backs up quite nice, perfectly adequate for these sort of roads. Handlebars are nice and wide. Plenty of control. Seating position is pretty good. There's no screen or anything on this, so uh, this one's a naked bike. The CB500X has got a bit of a screen. Uh, slightly different design on the front, which um, probably will give you a bit more wind protection over distance. And at higher speeds. Used to that pedal. Yeah, I like that little burble it's got. aren't bad. It's quite cold today, I've put the liner back in the jacket. I've still got my summer boots on, but two pairs of socks. <laughs> Chug, 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 chug. Chugged a little bit in third gear then. Probably needed second. It's all right now then. Yeah, that dashboard is a little difficult to see. goes into gear. Okay. Quite smooth actually, there's no real click as it goes into gear. Of course it's got ABS, as all new bikes do. The brakes seem quite good. Yeah. Uh, again, I haven't tried the back brake. <laughs> yeah, clean out. It's in the front of me. It's not uncomfortable, especially at these sort of speeds. So let me handle this. Let's get down into second. This is a bright, shonky bridge. This is. Yeah, not bad. It's quite, it's quite well balanced actually. Power 
my GSX-R has, but that's always going to be the case. Power delivery seems quite linear. really comfy. Now, I know that this is a smaller engine than the BMW that I tried the other day. This being a, a, a is it 499ers? Let's call it a 500. And the BMW is an 850. And the BMW's probably got double the horses that this one's got. Sitting at 77 brake horsepower, where I think this one's about 34, 35. But this, um, first impressions are, this engine is uh, smoother and less rattly for an inline twin. I'm not an expert on inline twins. Definitely, it's a little bit smoother. Yeah, the brakes are pretty good. Quite impressed. Try that back right then. Okay, yeah. Better than the one on my GSXR, but then again, I do need to change the pads on that before the MOT. Still haven't got round to it. in nice. It's a, it's a nice little balanced, well balanced bike this is. Now the X version is taller. Well I think apart from that I think everything else is more or less the same. The bars might be a little bit higher. And these are perfectly adequate. You could ride this all day. The seat's quite comfortable. It's a good size. I'm not, I've got textile trousers on, and I'm not really slipping about that much. So, what happened there then? Well, my fault. Well, transferring the footage from the camera to my computer. I went off to answer a phone call. Came back after a while. And instead of carrying on transferring the footage, I formatted the SD card in the camera. <laughs> so I lost the second half of the footage. Oh well. Let's just give the bike a quick sum up then. Honda CB500F. If you're looking for a reasonably priced, well put together commuter bike, 
or you're just stepping up after you've passed your test to your first biggie spike. Um, it's a lovely little machine, really nice, enjoyed riding it. And it's comfortable, bars are a good width, seat was at a good height on 5 foot 10, I could flat foot it easily. You could chuck it around quite easily, turned in really nice into the corners. Um, brake good, only a single disc on the front but uh, adequate. Rear brake was perfectly fine and of course it's got ABS. Um, exhaust sounded nice and apparently it's designed to give that bit of a burble to give the uh, interest. Um, and it uh, certainly did, it put a smile on my face, it was, uh, sounded quite good. Nice little dashboard, although a little bit difficult to see in the sunlight. I mean, there wasn't much sunlight about that particular day. Um, got everything you need on there. It's got your gear indicator, your speed, your RPM, um, trips, fuel gauge, uh, outside temperature, you know, all the usual bits and pieces that you need. Um, all right, it's nice, nice little dashboard, but just like I say, a little bit difficult to see. Although apparently you can adjust the brightness on there, so perhaps it was on a lower setter, I don't know. I didn't know that at the time. Mirrors were good. Um, didn't have no problem seeing what was behind me with the mirrors. Didn't shake about either, they were nice and stable. And altogether the bike rides really smooth, 35 brake horsepower, really, really smooth. Did find the gearbox a little bit woolly, must admit. Second, third gear, was I in it? Was I not in it? Sometimes I wasn't quite sure. Uh, I'm Asian, I wasn't. <laughs> um, yeah, gearbox I thought was a little bit woolly, not as sure footed as some of the gearboxes that I've tried. Uh, I'm pretty used to Suzuki, which uh, are definitely a, a good positive gearbox. Um, so yeah, that was a downside. Um, apart from that, really good. The finish on the bike is really nice. Uh, I like the dual colour engine. <coughs> the forks were adjustable. Now, that was quite a surprise considering it's a, uh, a cheaper commuter bike. But yeah, the front forks were adjustable for preload. Uh, as is the rear shock and little bits and pieces like that like the LED lights all round and the tail toidy thing that they put on these bikes these days um, seem to be made of aluminium and wasn't just some horrible moulded piece of plastic so just little bits like that made it feel a more quality bike than possibly some of its competitors so all in all nice little bike 